Hi everyone. So in this video, uh, I want to take a look at string arrays. So uh, let's just say I had um, I wanted to split a sentence into an array of words. So uh, that array of words would be an array of strings. Uh, but we've already looked at uh, the fact that strings themselves are arrays of characters. So an array of strings would probably be a two dimensional array of characters. So it would be something like str arr would be something like this. And then I should be able to give it something like uh, hello and then a world uh, and then let's say computer uh, and so on. So uh, I should be able to do this. But if you remember our discussion on multidimensional arrays, uh, we need to give uh, some number right here. And uh, I could give it some number. Uh, but the problem there is that let's say I give it something like uh, a 3 right here. Let's uh, actually that would be an 8 right here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, run this now gcc string arrays dot c uh, dash o string arrays. And uh, then I run this. Uh, actually, uh, I'm not going to get any output right here. So I would have to do something like printf and then percent %s and then uh, str arr of uh, 0 let's say. That should give me a hello. Um, so let's run this and it actually gives me a hello. So uh, that's one way to create uh, string arrays. But the problem with this method is that um, this hello right here. Uh, is actually just five characters and uh, this computer is eight characters. So this hello is just five characters and then three backslash zeros probably. So uh, that's not actually a great way to uh, do things because I'm wa I'll be wasting a lot of memory, uh, especially if I have one word that's significantly longer than the other words. So I'll be wasting a lot of memory there. So uh, what I do instead is uh, imagine it this way. So let's say I do a char str1 which is an array uh, which is a string. So that's hello um, and then a char str2 um, equals uh, world and then a char str3 uh, equals computer and Let's just say I make an array which contains uh, str1, str2 and str3 itself. So uh, what is str1 really? It's just uh, the address of the first element. So uh, it basically is a pointer which stores the address of uh, this h right here. So it stores the address of the first element uh, in, in the array. So uh, what would be the type of the array that I want to create now uh, if let's say my array is something like str1, str2 and str3. Uh, each one of these is a character pointer. So my type is char star and uh, then I need to give it a name which is uh, let's say str arr. And uh, this is an array of character pointers. It's not a character pointer itself. So I give it this square bracket right here. Uh, I hope this makes uh, some sense to you why I'm doing a char star here and then a square bracket here. Uh, and let's just run this program at this point now. So as you can see, I've still got this hello right here. And uh, this time I'm not actually wasting uh, space like I was wasting right here because I never said that uh, I need a square matrix with uh, eight columns. Uh, so that's not really happening. What's happening is uh, this thing has some memory location. Let's say this has 0x uh, FFFF and then uh, 0001. And let's say this has something like uh, 0x FFFF and then this has uh, 0010 and let's say this one has 0x FF 
uh, FF0020. Uh, so basically what this array contains is uh, this thing right here it just contains 0x fffff 0001 0x fffff 0010 and 0x uh 0020 so that's basically what this array right here contains so uh, it's an array all right but what is it an array of it's an array of pointers, it's an array of memory locations and uh, uh, it's an array of what kind of pointers, uh, those are character pointers. So uh, that's why I've got this char star right here. So uh, that's basically how you would create a character, uh, a string array and uh, I can do something like str of 1 here and let's just try this now it should give me uh, a world and uh, I can also just uh, get rid of all of this right here and uh, just uh, copy paste this instead of my str1, str2 and str3 and let's try running this now um, and this also gives me world so uh, this is perfectly fine as well and uh, I can also at this point do something like str of 1 uh, uh, of 0 and uh, what that means is basically what is this part right here str uh, arr of 1 uh, it's basically a character array in itself so this itself is a character array and from that array I want the 0th element and let's try running this now so if I do uh, run this uh, it's actually giving me uh, nothing right here whereas I was expecting a W and why is that that's basically because I've got a mismatch between uh, what the format specifier here and what I'm giving right here so this right here should be a percent C uh, let's just save this and try it once again and this time it correctly gives me a W right here so uh, that's basically about uh, string arrays and uh, this brings us to, uh, our, uh, to the end of our discussion on strings. Uh, in the next video there's one short thing that I want to talk about which is uh, some uh, alter altercations that we're going to do to this uh, main function right here. So uh, stay tuned for it.